Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it is time for another cooking with Deboki. Today I am going to be using the electric lunchbox. It's been a really long time since I've used this little guy, but I thought it'd be a really great occasion to pull this out for this dish that I want to cook. It's actually instant duck bokey. A gourmet instant duck bokey, actually, if we can call it that. <laughs> for you guys that don't know, my YouTube channel's name is actually based off of this dish. This is one of my favorite Korean dishes is dakboki and I've always said it wrong. I always said it dubboki. So uh, this is based off of my channel's name. I got a little bit too English-fied with my Korean, so that's how my name kind of transformed from dakboki to dubboki. I've never cooked this before, but I thought we'd try to cook this in this electric lunchbox, which I don't know if all of it is gonna fit, but we'll see. We're gonna play it by ear, and hopefully we don't fail too much. I don't really have that much in my fridge. I do need to go grocery shopping, so I can't really add too much into this. I can't debokify the duck bokey. I do have, though, one jalapeno here. So this one, hopefully we can add in, depending on how, uh, how this is. Let's see, what do we got? Oh! Cute little container for our duck bokey here. Comes with the rice cakes, which they're hard. It feels like they're frozen, but I think they're just, just needs a little bit of loving to get soft. Got our sauce packet here and our dried vegetable mix. It's almost like ramen with duck bokey. I was tempted to make some rice with this, but I feel like since we are eating rice cakes that this should suffice as rice. Step one, you say we need to talk. Do not eat this. I like to toss that just right in the trash. Get that out of the way, temptations are gone. So I said that we need to rinse this with cold water. I'm just curious if we can fit all of this into our electric lunchbox bowl and it might be good. Oh, I'm not gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it. That is actually perfect. Oh my goodness. This is as perfect as a bee can be, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna spin this on my hand, cause I'm, that's how, oh shh. We're gonna rinse this with cold water as the instructions say. Now they're all wet, tingle, ready to mingle. Let's do it. It says to add 3 fourth cups water into here. We're gonna do that right now. Get ourselves this hot sauce packet here, which I'm gonna give it a good sniff. That doesn't really smell that spicy to me. So I think I'm gonna to need to debokify it just a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit more in here. This just does not seem that spicy to me, but let's go ahead and put this right in. Duck bokey needs to have a kick. It's a fiery rice cake dish. If there is no fire in the soul, then you're just not eating duck bokey. It's not only feeling it physically, but you feel it emotionally as well in there. Dried vegetable seasoning mix. So this is what it's looking like right now. We're gonna give it a good stir, get it all mingled in there. I lied a little bit. I'm putting some extra stuff in there. I just can't let that go untouched like that. It doesn't smell spicy enough to me. This is actually pretty much what is in duck bokey is the uh, gochujang here. Adding a healthy fork full in here. Kind of mix that in there. Get that all nice and familiarized with the other flavors. Where's my jalapeno? Here it is. This guy is going straight in there too. I have cooked instant duck bokey before on my channel, but it was like a really, really instant one. It was almost like a bowl of duck bokey and you just kind of microwaved it. Um, so this one is hopefully a little bit more authentic and gourmet. I just saw it at H-Mart and I was really curious about it that, huh, I wonder if this tastes like pretty authentic duck bokey. It seems like it's in a more fancier packaging, so I, I kind of just went for it. We're just gonna put them right in here. I think this is gonna be really spicy now, <laughs> to be honest. We should have maybe calmed down a bit with the spice, but we're really gonna amplify this up. But I think this would be pretty good, you know, if you were wanting to bring this to work or school to kind of make this instant duck bokey. You could just bring one pack with you, add some water, and just turn it on. That's what I'm kind of hoping that it will be as easy as that and you'll have some pretty fresh duck bulky. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not stopping there though. You thought I was done. No, 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 we're not done. Boiled eggs and duck bulky is very good as well. The sauce and the boiled egg is just, mm. I don't know what that word means. I just said it. It felt like it's a tasty word. We're gonna hard boil some eggs just right on top here while this all cooks. And hopefully my thought process is when the duck bokey is finished, the eggs will be finished, they can mingle as one, and they can rejoice in my stomach. Oh no. 
I don't think it's fitting, ladies and gents. We can just squeeze it down a little. Oh, it doesn't fit. I just broke the egg. Oh, the pokey. The pokey, you made it, the pokey. Um, this egg is fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay. The eggs didn't fit on top right away. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to cook it a bit. Let the the rice cakes kind of soften up so that we can squish this top down with the eggs. Because I think the eggs are struggling. They're just a little bit too plump. Nothing wrong with them. They're just thick eggs. So we're just going to let this settle down. Then we're going to put in the eggs on top again. We were about to just have a huge fail there if I didn't add water. So I'm going to add maybe like mm, half a cup, half cup of water in here. Because I want it to boil for a bit. The way that this works is that if it runs out of water, the uh, the timer will turn off, or at least for my electric lunchbox is what I've noticed. So we're gonna add a half cup of water. We just want this to have a nice consistent boil, a steam in here um, in order to produce some heat. Now we're just gonna push that magical button and we're off, we're off. All together, 15 minutes, this has been boiling, has been trying to heat up. Let's see how it's doing. Oh boy, oh boy. It's steaming, it's hot. It is being able to be pushed down more. I think we definitely want this thing to be simmering before we put the eggs on top. It's just, we don't want to overcook the eggs. It would have been better if we use like actual hot water, I think, in there too as the base, instead of just pouring in cold water, trying to boil that up right away. Definitely probably should have started off with some hot water, but I was trying to imitate like you're out and about. You don't really have the hot water maybe available to you. So this is kind of what you're able to use. This is 20 minutes now that it's been cooking. Ooh. Oh, the smell is so good though. Oh, I can tell it is starting to heat up. I'm just gonna mix it up just a little bit. Oh yeah, the rice cakes are getting soft now. I can feel them. The sauce is getting a little bit thicker too. I do feel that as well. We're just mixing it up there. It smells so good. What I wanna do actually is just put the eggs right on top. We're gonna cook this for about 10 to 12 more minutes and we're just gonna hope. We're gonna hope for the best here. So I'm gonna put the eggs right on top here because I think the duck bokey is getting to that point where it's almost ready and we're just gonna close it. Come on, baby. Fit for me. Fit for me. Oh, oh yeah. You got it. You got it. Trying to close this last latch. It works. Yo, eggs on top boiling with duck bokey cooking on the bottom. That's so exciting. All right, 12 more minutes, 12 more minutes. We'll see you back 12 more minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the timer has gone off. I think this is in total 32 minutes that we've been cooking this duck bokey. The, uh, the longest part was to really just heat up that water, I think, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a look. Let's take a look together. Oh wow. Okay, we're gonna test the eggs pretty soon here. The duck is getting nice and soft. I can already feel that. Oh, that is really nice. The smell is just incredible, guys. Really, really good smell is just coming out from this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. I feel like it could use a little bit more time, to be honest. Let's try one. Let's try one duck. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's good. Oh, that's really good. That is such good flavor. Okay. Just gonna mix it up a little bit more in here. I can tell the sauce is getting really nice and worked up right now as well. It's getting so nice and tender. This duck texture is so nice right now. I wanna test the eggs though out. Test it by just spinning it. Look at that thing, it's break dancing down there. Maybe a bit too much water, to be honest. It came out like a soup. This sauce is supposed to be pretty thick. Also, it just didn't get time to boil. I'm gonna put it for five more minutes, guys. Oh, but it tastes so good though. And while we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get these eggs ready as well. I'm gonna peel them. We're gonna get them nice and ready to put right into our duck bokey. All right, I got the eggs all peeled. I think they came out a little bit soft boiled, which should be fine. I've never really had soft boiled eggs in duck bokey before, but um, yeah, so they weren't like fully, fully hard boiled, I guess. Oh yeah, that sauce is getting so much more thick. Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks so good. What you gotta do for the duck bokey though, is you gotta top it off with some of these nice roasted sesame seeds. Always the nice finishing touch here. Just take that nice Instagram photo, you know what I'm saying? Boom! Snap that all on the floor. Snap that till you get sore. Snap that 
Till you want more snap. Maybe an egg in there too. I kind of want to like cut this egg in half. Oh my, they're so white in there. <laughs> I am excited. All right, let's go in right for it. Oh, the sauce is nice now. Mmm. Oh wow. That is so good. That is so good. Mm. That is actually like perfect texture. It's so chewy, which I'm really surprised with the instant duck that you can get that chewiness. But to be honest guys, I think that packet of duck that they give you, the, the duck is the rice cakes. It's pretty much like the normal rice cakes you would buy just raw that you need to kind of boil and make yourself. The quality of these rice cakes are actually really good. Mmm. All right, let's try one of these eggs. I'm gonna get it with the duck right here. Just the, the package deal. We want it all together. Oh yeah. Of course that tastes great. Of course. Mm. Get some of these peppers too. I really wish I had some fish cake in here or some of those nice long green onions. That would have just sealed the deal. Mmm. Peppers are not spicy. I could have used a lot more spice. I'm not gonna lie. The sauce tastes really good. I taste that like sweet spicy that they usually go for for duck bokey. But they're being a little bit scared to commit with that like pure just spice. Hit me with that. I tried to add in as much as I could on my own. But it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Oh, this is great though. This is absolutely great. It's so easy. And you can add in things so easily as well to it. If you wanted to just bring like a, a bag of vegetables or something. Just throw it in here while it all boils. Maybe some cabbage too. Ooh, cabbage would have been amazing in here as well. Definitely comes with enough duck though. So the mistake that I made and how I would do it differently is I would definitely use hot water in here if I was cooking it again. I just think it takes way too long to try to heat up that cold water, um, especially when it's supposed to be a little bit more instant. I feel like this can get cooked in about 10 minutes fully if you use hot water in here instead of, what did I take, like 32, 37 minutes, almost 40 minutes of just trying to heat up that water. But that being said though, having the rice cake soak in cold water for a little bit before you start boiling it. So when I was sitting in there in that beginning stages, and I'm not really sure if that's a thing or not, cause like my mom, when she makes duck bokey, she usually has the rice cake soak in there for a little bit maybe like a few hours or something before she starts in using them to cook. Just having them soak in cold water. Speaking of cold water, I need to get some cold water. I'll be right back. I feel like I need to get a haircut, guys. I've just been so lazy lately. Mm. I was a little bit worried about the sauce at the start. I thought it would be too watery, but the, the consistency though is really nice. Could definitely have used less water though. <laughs> definitely less water next time. <clears throat> mm. That pepper was spicy. Mm. Oh. Uh, that one slapped me. It was mad at me for making fun of how not spicy this was. And it got me with a vengeance. Oh wow, I'm done. I'm saving the rest for, for later. I am done. I definitely recommend you guys try this out. And if you don't have an electric lunchbox and just want to cook it on the stove or heat it up, I, it's really tasty. If you're not wanting to get, I guess, the full blown deal of duck bokey, this is as close as you'll get, I feel like. Just add in your own stuff with it. Add in some cabbage, add in green onions, fish cakes. Get that really nice 
duck bulky dish going because this is a really nice base for that instant duck bulky and it really sets you up for some really successful flavors in your stomach. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so much for watching this little cooking with the bulky with the electric lunchbox here. It has been really tasty. Like always, this has been the bulky and we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.